Thomas E. James, and I left the service uh, as a damage controlman, third class. Well, uh, we never really got real close to Vietnam. Uh, we were reasonably close. All the ships came to us. We did a lot of work on landing craft. When they would go up on the beach, they would break the back of the ship. They would go too far on the beach and they would create lateral cracks in the steel decking and they would come alongside. I wasn't a welder, but that's one of the things we did was uh, uh, they welded the cracks in those ships. Uh, some ships would take damage from shells, uh, radar would be damaged. Uh, and that was all, you know, above my scope, we, uh, we make what they called coffer dams. It was uh, a wooden box with uh, foam that they would put against the side of the ship. There were lots of inlets and outlets. And if they had to do some work and they wanted to keep the water from coming in a particular pipe, they would put the dam over the, the opening and they could do some work. Uh, I was telling the guys about... Uh, I was on a shaft alley watch, the two shafts that drove the propellers were down on the bottom of the ship and you went down a, uh, the tight little vertical tunnel ladder and when you got to the bottom you were in a very low room and the shaft was right there and it was spinning like crazy and uh, there were bearings in the uh, walls, the bulkheads, and you kept an eye on the bearing at each end of that particular section of the uh, shaft for four hours or whatever, and then you were up and somebody else went down to keep an eye on it. That was pretty tight down and there was hot. There was no ventilation, um, just barely to sit back in the shaft of right there in front of you. It was probably three or three feet in diameter, solid steel and spinning like crazy. Uh, and the object was just where it went through this bulkhead and through that bulkhead, that, uh, the bearings were okay. Yeah, we didn't have to oil anything, but uh, we just kept an eye on it.